Today, we're diving into a story that truly changed the world, the unraveling of the DNA code. This isn't just a list of facts, but a real-life detective tale filled with brilliant minds, mistakes, and controversial fame. The journey to understanding DNA is as dramatic as any mystery novel, and it all begins in the early 1950s, when scientists knew DNA was crucial for heredity, but its structure remained a complete enigma. Let's set the stage for one of the most pivotal moments in scientific history. In the early 1950s, the scientific community was buzzing with questions about heredity. Everyone knew DNA was the key, but no one could figure out how it actually worked. The structure of DNA was a mystery, and researchers around the world were racing to solve it. This was a time of intense curiosity and competition, where every new clue could lead to a breakthrough. The stakes were high, and the atmosphere was electric with anticipation. At Cambridge University, two ambitious scientists, James Watson and Francis Crick, were hard at work. Both were brilliant theorists, known for their sharp minds and bold ideas. However, their early attempts to model DNA were far from successful. They were essentially trying to solve a puzzle without having the picture on the box. Their failures didn't deter them. Instead, they pushed even harder, determined to be the first to crack the code. Meanwhile, in London at King's College, another scientist was taking a different approach. Rosalind Franklin was a master of experimentation, specializing in X-ray crystallography. Her method allowed her to literally see the structure of molecules. Franklin was meticulous, gathering data slowly and carefully, never jumping to conclusions without solid evidence. Her dedication to precision set her apart from her peers. By early 1953, Rosalind Franklin had gathered all the crucial data needed to solve the DNA puzzle. Her most famous achievement, Photograph 51, was a masterpiece, clear and precise. It revealed the structure of DNA in stunning detail. Franklin's careful work was the key to unlocking the mystery, but at the time, few realized just how important her contributions would be. In science, as in life, sometimes it's not about who's right but who's fastest. In January 1953, Franklin's colleague Morris Wilkins showed her famous photograph to Watson without her knowledge. For Watson, it was a revelation. Suddenly, the pieces fell into place, and he saw what had been missing from their own models. The race to solve the DNA structure was about to reach its climax. Back in Cambridge, Watson and Crick gained access to Franklin's confidential report, which included her calculations and data. With all the crucial information in hand, they worked quickly, assembling their now-famous model of DNA out of wire and cardboard. Their ability to synthesize information from different sources was remarkable, and within weeks, they had built the iconic double helix model. April 1953, Watson and Crick published a modest article in the journal Nature. This short paper would become one of the most famous scientific publications ever, announcing the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA. Alongside their article, papers by Franklin and Wilkins provided the experimental evidence supporting the model. Yet, history would remember only Watson and Crick as the faces of this discovery. Tragically, Rosalind Franklin passed away from cancer in 1958, just a few years after her groundbreaking work. When the Nobel Prize was awarded in 1962 to Watson, Crick and Wilkins, Franklin's name was not mentioned. The rules of the Nobel Prize do not allow posthumous awards, but her absence from the recognition remains a point of controversy and sadness in the scientific community. This brings us to a difficult question. Was the discovery of DNA structure truly fair? Watson and Crick were geniuses at synthesizing information and building models, but the crucial pieces of the puzzle came from Rosalind Franklin. For decades, her role was largely forgotten, overshadowed by the fame of her colleagues. The story raises important questions about recognition and fairness in science. The DNA discovery story forces us to reflect on the ethics of scientific competition. Where is the line between healthy rivalry and unethical behavior? The rush to publish and claim credit can sometimes overshadow the collaborative nature of science. This episode is a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge is often complicated by human ambition and the desire for recognition. For many years, Rosalind Franklin's contributions were overlooked. Only recently has her vital role in the discovery of DNA structure been widely acknowledged. Her meticulous work and unwavering commitment to scientific truth paved the way for one of the greatest breakthroughs in biology. Today, Franklin is celebrated as a true pioneer, and her story inspires countless scientists around the world. The double helix structure of DNA has become a universal symbol of life itself. It represents not only the blueprint of all living things, but also the complexity and beauty of scientific discovery. Yet, the story behind its discovery is as twisted and intricate as the molecule itself, reminding us that science is shaped by real people with real struggles. 
Behind every great discovery are people driven by ambition, prone to mistakes, and shaped by their unique personalities. The story of DNA's discovery is no exception. Watson, Crick, Franklin, and Wilkins each brought their own strengths and flaws to the table, and their interactions created a dynamic, sometimes tense, environment that ultimately led to a world-changing breakthrough. While competition played a major role, collaboration was equally important. The discovery of DNA's structure was only possible because scientists shared data, built on each other's work, and combined different approaches. This story highlights the importance of teamwork and the collective effort required to achieve scientific progress. The discovery of the double helix didn't just solve a scientific mystery. It opened the door to modern genetics, biotechnology, and medicine. Today, our understanding of DNA shapes everything from disease research to forensic science. The legacy of this discovery continues to grow, touching every aspect of our lives. Looking back, the story of DNA's discovery teaches us valuable lessons about the nature of science. It's a field driven by curiosity, persistence, and sometimes, controversy. The journey from question to answer is rarely straightforward, and the people behind the breakthroughs often face challenges and setbacks along the way. Science is not just about experiments and equations, it's about people. The story of DNA's discovery is a powerful reminder that behind every major breakthrough are individuals with dreams, doubts, and determination. Their stories add depth and meaning to the facts and figures we learn in textbooks. Even today, the story of DNA's discovery leaves us with questions. What matters more, the painstaking work of gathering data, or the flash of insight that brings it all together? Where do we draw the line between healthy competition and unethical behavior? These questions continue to spark debate in the scientific community. If you're fascinated by the real stories behind great ideas, you're in the right place. Our channel, The Origin Stories, is dedicated to exploring the mysteries and breakthroughs that have shaped our world. There are still countless secrets to uncover and discoveries to be made, and we're excited to share them with you. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the discovery of DNA. We hope this story has inspired you to look deeper into the people and ideas that have shaped our world. Stay tuned for more fascinating investigations and grand discoveries. Until next time, this is The Origin Stories.